morning. Good evening. Welcome to the Carlisle Regular yeah. Board Meeting, Monday, January 22nd, 2018, at 6 p.m. Would you call the roll, Mr. Bassett? Mrs. Lehart? Here. Mr. Duckman? Yes. Mr. Jewell? Here. Mrs. McIntosh? Here. Mr. Moore? Here. Would everyone please rise and join me in the pledge? And at this time, I would like to ask Mr. Oliver if he would please lead us in the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. <coughs> at this time, we will move to student program and recognition. Mr. Hook. Thank you, Mrs. Lanehart. Uh, we've got a couple of groups here, just uh, senior recognition. Uh, we'll go ahead with uh, Mr. Oliver and his senior band members. Take it away, Mr. Oliver. Thank you, sir. We're going to uh, talk about our senior band members. Um, a group has had uh, multiple band directors, uh, countless hours of work on the field, uh, and thousands of dollars uh, into our program. A uh, great group of kids. Um, so here's Allie Neese. Kylie Jensen, yes, David. Okay. No, David, picture. Kylie Jensen is not here with us tonight. Uh, we have Cameron Elliott. <laughs> Mackenzie Lacey. Uh, Cameron. Somewhere. <laughs> Mackenzie and Miss Dalrymple, Michaela. So a uh, really small senior class, but like I said, one that's been, uh, I think, instrumental uh, in our program's growth. Um, so once again, our senior class for this year, I have no idea, I have no, no doubt in my mind they'll be very successful uh, post Carlisle High School. So uh, our senior class. Outstanding, outstanding. Uh, next up is uh, Mrs. Jen Shively, our choral director. She's got a, a big group, so I'm going to turn it over to her. Okay, so unlike the band program, these kids have been stuck with me since they were sixth graders, <laughs> for better or for worse. So um, it's really sad to see them go when you see them from middle school, you know, through high school, but. I could tell lots of stories about all these kids, so I won't waste your time doing that. But um, if you would come down and receive your certificate when I call your name, Brittany Bottles. Oh, and several kids are working or had other engagements like the basketball game and stuff. So, uh, Natalie Fitzpatrick. See, and we keep going. Brittany Richardson. Anna Roland. <laughs> you look so happy. You're so happy. Marissa Totten. And last but not least, Jordan Whitford. All right, now get all smiley so your parents can take pictures. Oh, are we good? You guys got it? Okay, thank you guys. Congratulations, guys. Thank you very much. Appreciate it, uh, Mr. Oliver, Mr. Shively. It's been, if you haven't had a chance to, uh, to all of our viewing audience, if you haven't had a chance to witness our, a band concert or a choral concert, I strongly encourage you to, to find time in your schedules. Uh, we'll have some yet this spring, so you still got time to catch these, these great kids. 
uh, performing, and it's it's pretty spectacular. So thank you again for coming, and appreciate it taking time out of your evening. So at this time, we'll just take a little bit of a pause, and if you want to stay for the rest of the board meeting, more than welcome to. If you have other places to go, feel free to to go there as well. So thank you very much. At this time, we will move to our visitors' comments. If anybody wants to come and say anything that's left, they may. If not, we will move to the treasurer's report. Hey, thank you, Mrs. Lanehart. You're welcome. Uh, I do have a couple non-action items to go over, uh, stuff that came in at the end of, uh, actually one at the end of last week and one today. Uh, first one is uh, one to give an update on the DPNL situation. Mm -hmm. I know I was asked last board meeting what was going on, and I said nothing. And since then, we've been given an update and, and a final decision uh, through the Public Utilities Commission and uh, through Montgomery County Auditor's Office. I was notified at the end of last week that the DPNL got everything they asked for. So um, the amount that they put in for the appeal is the amount that they were granted. So that means the amount of taxes that they have paid in the past is all that they owe. So we will not receive any uh, back taxes uh, based on valuation being greater than what they had appealed. Um, right down to the penny, what they appealed is uh, what they were approved for. So um, those appeals are now officially finalized and we're even. So we'll just move forward uh, with the valuation that's on that piece of property right now and continue to do the best that we can do with the money that we're that we can collect. So um, I don't know if anybody has any questions about the DPNL situation, but that was kind of the bad news I was given uh, last week. So I just wanted to give you an update on that. Second thing, I was notified uh, just this afternoon by about three or four o'clock that our audit is complete. And I was surprised that Mr. Dunkman hadn't got on his email yet to see that it, everybody had been emailed uh, that information. Uh, the audit is clean. So, uh, you know, there's, there's different levels of notifications. And as far as the notifications for uh, the audit, uh, there are no citations on the audit. There's a couple verbal uh, comments uh, given to the district. Um, but minor things, stuff that we can correct stuff sometimes that's even out of your control but uh, the report is on your email and Molly you originally you weren't on the original email but I forwarded it to you okay, thank you uh, because of being a new board member the last board member was on the email so okay. I went ahead and forwarded that on to you so good news yeah. audit best news is audit is done and other good news <laughs> is it's clean uh, it's clean, it's clean. <laughs> so uh, really good news especially in my department so uh, I, I thank the ladies that work for me uh, this afternoon and continue that they continue to do a great job and uh, hopefully we'll, we'll keep moving forward every year uh, with the clean report. So with that, I'm going to move on to my action items. And uh, after reviewing uh, the agenda, I see that we're going to have to split apart items one and two. Um, so the first item I want to do, uh, action items A, item number one which is approve the minutes from the December 18th uh, last regularly scheduled board meeting. Do I have a motion? So moved. Motion by Mr. Moore. Is there a second? Second. Second by Mr. Jewell. You may call the vote. Mr. Moore? Yes. Mr. Jewell? Yes. Mrs. Lanehart? Yes. Mr. Dunkman? Yes. And Mrs. McIntosh? Yes. Or abstain? Abstain, abstain. abstain. sorry. Yeah, abstain. Thank you. Motion carried. Okay, now we move on to item number two, action item A2. So Mrs. McIntosh can vote on this yeah. as she was a board <laughs> member during this time. Uh, we need an approval for the organizational minutes from the January 8th organizational meeting. Do I have a motion? <coughs> so moved. Motion by Mrs. McIntosh. Is there a second? Second. Second by Mr. Moore. You may call the roll. Mrs. McIntosh? Yes. Mr. Moore? Yes. Mr. Duckman? Yes. Mrs. Lanehart? Yes. Mr. Jewell. Yes. Thank you, motion carry. Uh, next is my financial report. This is always part of your packet. Uh, again, what was part of your report, no surprises. The only surprise I got was the DPNL. 
uh, ruling. Uh, but as far as uh, the rest of the financial report, all is going as planned. Again, like I said before, some areas are a little higher and others are lower, but big picture, um, everything is looking good as we're moving through the school year. All right. Do I have a motion? So moved. Motion by Mr. Jewell. Is there a second? Second. Second by Mr. Dunkman. If there's no questions, you may call the roll. Mr. Jewell? Yes. Mr. Dunkman? Yes. Mrs. Lanehart? Yes. Mrs. McIntosh? Yes. Mr. Moore? Yes. Thank you, motion carried. <coughs> and then lastly, we have a couple donations, uh, to one for the lunchroom and one for the uh, uh, special needs program here at Carlisle Schools. Do I have a motion? So. Motion by Mr. Jewell. Is there a second? Yes, second. Second by Mrs. McIntosh. If there's no questions, you may call the roll. Mr. Jewell? Yes. Mrs. McIntosh? Yes. Mr. Dunkman? Yes. Mr. Moore? Yes. Mrs. Lanehart? Yes. Thank you, motion Kenny. That is my report for the month. Take Thank the you. good with the bad. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> At this time, we'll move to the superintendent's report, Mr. Hook. Thank you very much. Um, in terms of non-action items, I've got a couple of things to try to keep uh, everybody up to speed on. Uh, the construction project is rolling. Um, we obviously have our architects, our construction manager. I've sent information to you that we that's done, but for our public, um, our construction managers are on, have been selected, uh, Skanska Megan out of uh, the Cincinnati area. Uh, very strong construction group. Uh, they're the ones that will actually be putting the subcontractors to work and organizing the actual schedule as it moves forward. Uh, we're sitting in a pretty good spot right now. Um, Skanska's already got surveyors on property, so they were here last week, they're here this week, and so they're running around and, you know, putting up flags, putting up flags and so identifying. The yeah, we're getting stuff going. Yes. Things are happening. So I already had three people today go, there are people out in their yards. I go, yeah, it's, it's, they're, they're starting to do that, trying to get everything figured out where everything underground is that could be interesting so that's a whole other world <laughs> but so it's it's moving along it's pretty exciting uh, we've reduced our uh, one other per, uh, person or group we need is our commissioning agent they're kind of uh, oh for lack of a better a way of explaining it they're they're the, the group that makes sure when the keys are turned over to us when we flip the switch it actually works to the thing that you want it to turn on whether it's hvac lightings electrical but they're that that kind of bridge for us to make sure that what was on the plans what went up during construction actually functions um, we have to have that. We're down to three. That'll probably be named um, end of January, maybe the first part of February. But that doesn't slow down what they're doing right now. They're they're rolling. They're moving. Architects, uh, uh, we should have our finalized uh, report on the visioning committee. Uh, the 40 plus people that we got the rough one. I made a lot of corrections in spelling. We sent it back to them and. Uh, names etc so hopefully that that um, we should have that shortly um, I'm expecting that really at any point in time here um, we have a, a program of uh, a requirement meeting um, Wednesday uh, so the state will be down for that our construction manager architect uh, bill will be there we've got our administrators there and really what this does is there uh, we'll have a couple other people there too but it's about um, making sure that we have enough spots for the people that we anticipate will need spots teachers and you know it's unique places we'll still have other meetings with uh, food service those kind of people that will help us identify other spaces but there'll be the AD will be there talking about athletic spots that we may need within the confines of the uh, square footage that we have to have so uh, it'll be a, probably a couple hour meeting so um, 
that's the next big one on the horizon. After that, um, we'll have a couple of other pieces um, that are really going to be more of our core team. The core group will be, I think Bill uh, will be on that, as well as Dan and I and um, Kenny Sprinkles, uh, Jim um, Branson and, and uh, Chad, basically, because it has to do with more in their arenas. And uh, so those things are, are rolling. So it's, it's a lot of stuff going on. So it's, it's kind of neat. Um, I keep reminding people that the busiest time really isn't when it's construction, it's now. Now's the time that's, that's critical. A lot of planning, a lot of decision making. I was in Goshen Friday and uh, trying to put together a little bit of a field trip day for a few of us that would like to um, like to go and look at a couple of unique schools, I think, that are, will also help us as we go through the design phase. So it's a uh, hold on your hats, man. It's going. <laughs> but it's fun. It's an exciting time, man. And uh, so I'll keep you posted as we move forward with that piece. Um, the other thing I wanted to mention, I didn't put it on here, and kind of on purpose in the sense that this is um, – in Ohio, the Ohio School Boards Association recognizes January as School Board Appreciation Month. Mm -hmm. um, and I do want to take a moment just to say thank you uh, to the five of you and, and those that have served in the past. Um, you know, I don't think people realize at all uh, what's involved with being a board member. Um, it's really um, there's very few pats on the back, let's put it that way. Uh, there's a lot of complaining, there's a lot of things that they do, and they do it willingly because they care about the school system, about the kids, about the future. Um, and I appreciate that um, because it's very easy to get off, off that center point. Um, the other thing I think is, and I'm going to brag on my board a bit, just I think people need to understand where we were eight years ago in this district, okay? When I walked through the doors and we, and we figured out, tried to get a handle around everything and financially, uh, it was a little scary, you know? Uh, we were in fiscal emergency, or just shy of fiscal emergency, we were in fiscal caution. Uh, you could see the edge of the cliff from where we were standing. Uh, in June, um, before I took over in July, that a carryover balance of $10,000. Now, that's pretty nice in your own personal account, but it's not when you're talking about a $15 million budget. That's a little scary. That's called getting worried about how to make payroll. I didn't tell Dan on purpose when we hired him what, what that was <laughs> because I was afraid he had said no. So, uh, and, and thank you to the board members who didn't tell me either. I don't know. <laughs> it was a little scary when we first, first got in here. Um, and part of it was the time in which we were serving. You know, it was the, you know think about the economics that, that everybody that we were dealing with. Um, but we had some real, real issues. We had 27 pages of special ed violations sitting on my desk. Uh, not, not 27 violations, 27 pages. Uh, we immediately went to address those. Academically, the highest this district had ever received was an effective district, okay? Um, a year later, we received our first excellent rating and had never dropped below that. Um, right now, Nobody can figure out the school report card anyway. It's so common. <laughs> but if you take changes, you know. But if you take the one consistent, which is the which is the performance index, we have continued for eight years to continue to raise that standard. Uh, right now, we rank 255 out of six over 600 school districts just on the PI. I can't go into everything else because at the end of the day, there's nothing that's it's all apples and oranges. That's the one kind of consistent. We're <coughs> the top third in, in, in the state. 
you know, and uh, we've really continued to try to push that envelope uh, for our kids' future because that's really who, who benefits that. We're also now at a point where we are fiscally sound. Um, we're very conservative. We got there through a lot of hard work. It took us several years. And I know board members, and there were times it was just scary, you know. And I know Dan, <laughs> we had a lot of talks about, yeah, what are we going to do? One of the next tax receipts, how can we get that? You know, you have to keep things going. And, um, you know, we, we trimmed the budget by nearly $2 million. Uh, again, is that a lot? Yeah, when you're talking about a $15 million overall budget, that's a lot of money. Um, that's a pretty strong percentage. Um, how we did it, you know, we had to reduce staff. We did it without laying anybody off. I'm very proud of that. Uh, that's also, you know, very important. There's, it, was, it, was just, it wasn't just Dan and I, it was the board. It was people rolling their sleeves up trying to accomplish um, what had to be done to keep our school strong. Um, we probably, there, you know, there was a point in time when the school district had 2,000 students, okay? Um, it's been over a decade ago. <coughs> but we remained that, kept that staffing, and that got you in trouble, you know? And so one of the things, by, by allowing for early retirement, one of the programs that we started, we brought in and moved through that whole process. We were able to get our staffing in the right place uh, we run tight. A lot of uh, our teachers were at the end of their career too. You know what I'm saying? So we let we let people <laughs> we let people when they retired. We didn't replace key people and restructured our our certified staff, our administrative staff. Uh, we restructured our classified staff. There wasn't an area that we didn't re redo, uh, and we continue to do that. Uh, but where are we now? You fast forward to where we are. Uh, we're on solid financial footing. We have a five-year forecast that we're into the black. You know, we promised when we passed the, uh, uh, the emergency levy five years ago that we would make it, make it last at least five years. We've done that. We believe that we can go another five years. Okay, and that's... You don't do that by throwing money away. You do it by being smart with what you what you have what you've got, getting the most out of your money. Doesn't mean the things you need you still get. It just means working hard with it and being smart. Um, you know the old term of spending like drunken sailors. I guess is you just can't do those things. You just can't do it. You know, and so I'm very proud of what. This board has done, and the support they've given Dan and I, and and uh, the efforts of really a lot of people. You know, we're on solid footing. Do we, you know, would we have loved to got money from the DPNL? Well, yeah, <laughs> sure. <laughs> Not a reality. So move forward. You just see, you, you know, you go on, and uh, you keep being wise with your with your finances. You know, we got new buildings coming. You know, which will be the envy of, of this whole area. Uh, it'll be a source of pride for kids and generations in this community. It's exciting. You know, our special ed department, we have zero. We've had zero for quite some time. Uh, uh, issues, well, uh, issues, uh, violations. Um, our preschool is about to receive their five-star rating, which is the first. So it's been really pretty good, you know. And I just want people to understand you don't get there overnight. And you take a lot of calls in the, in the middle of the night and when you're at a game and, and for <laughs> board members to keep your head above water and it's easy to get down. I appreciate what you've done. You know, and I appreciate that more than, uh, than a certificate I can give you. Uh, it's just important that periodically we stop and we pause and thank those people that are involved. And so 
uh, I know from, I speak for Dan as well, that um, we appreciate your support, appreciate all of your help, and, and uh, it's a team effort, it truly is, and, and that's the only way we're going to continue to to rise, and so thank you very much. Okay, and thank you, Dan, for saving five pieces of paper and not letting him print up. <laughs> yeah, certificates. Yeah, certificates. <laughs> so I would like to say, though, that the board is only as strong as your superintendent and your treasurer and the staff that we have. Um, so I've been on the board for quite a while, and it's it's a good it's a good place to be in Carlisle. So thank you both. So. Thank you. Thank you. <coughs> Moving right along, um, I want to jump over to the action items. Uh, the first action item is <coughs> the second resolution, the resolution to proceed with the renewal of the uh, emergency levy of five years ago. And please make sure, I, I want to make sure everybody understands this is a renewal of taxes that are already being collected. It's already part of our budget, our five-year forecast. Um, we believe that unless something crazy that we have no control or look at, we certainly believe that this will push us another five years into the future economically and keep us where we need to be solid. Um, again, the big thing I, I want people to understand, this, this yes vote uh, will not, will not increase taxes, okay? It's already being collected. It's a renewal of what has already been passed. So um, with that, I need a approval for this to move forward. Do I have a motion? So moved. Motion by Mr. Jules. Is there a second? Second. Second, second by Mr. Moore. I'm going to get a third. <laughs> if there's no questions, you may call the roll. Mr. Jewell? Yes. Mr. Moore? Yes. Mrs. McIntosh? Yes. Mr. Dunkman? Yes. Mrs. Lanehart? Yes. Thank you, motion carried. <laughs> Item B1, or B1B is a resolution um, that's really, we already voted on it. This is the, this really allows our, auditor uh, to do all the things they need to do. Uh, they're already starting to collect uh, millage for the construction project. Um, why we do that, I, I don't really know. It doesn't change anything. It doesn't do anything. We are one, we're the only county in Ohio that does it. Um, I'm sure it started during the Nick Nelson era. Um, I don't know the history of it. Um, it's not a requirement. It's just something that our auditor likes to have. So we've already voted on it. It's already passed. It's already actually on the books. They just like this resolution, um, I guess, to, to continue to move forward. So it's already been done, but this, this keeps our auditor happy. So I need uh, approval for it. Do I have a motion? So moved. Motion by Mr. Moore. Is there a second? Second. second. Come on, Brian. <laughs> Could you go with Dunkman, Mike Tosh? Here we go with. I said Dunkman, I heard okay. first, sorry. <laughs> so you may call the roll. Mr. Moore. Yes. Mr. Dunkman. Yes. <laughs> Mrs. McIntosh. Yes. Mrs. Lanehart. Yes. Mr. Jewell. Yes. Thank you, motion hearing. Uh, item C and D. Uh, C is the second reading of the policies that are listed below. They're all based, they're, well, they're all done because of changes in state and federal laws. So there's nothing unique in there. Uh, it just keeps our policies up to date. Uh, item D is the approval of the calendar. Uh, please understand, you know, we have a couple of things we have to, that we will nail down, um, but we don't want to slow the, the calendar piece. That was the uh, calendar option that was overwhelmingly supported uh, by our staff. Um, and so, that's there for approval as well, the 1819 calendar. All right. Do I have a motion? So moved. Motion by Mr. Jules. Is there a second? Second. Second by Mr. Moore. You may call the roll. There's no Mr. questions. Mr. Jewell? Yes. <laughs> Mr. Moore? Yes. Mrs. Lanehart? Yes. Mr. Dunkman? Yes. Mrs. McIntosh? Yes. Thank you, Motion. 
<laughs> um, item B2, uh, need approval for the resignation of bus driver uh, retroactive to December 29th. Do I have a motion? So moved. Motion by Mr. Moore, is there a second? Second. Second by Mrs. McIntosh. If there aren't any questions, you may call the roll. Mr. Moore? Yes. Mrs. McIntosh? Yes. Mr. Jewell? Yes. Mrs. Lanehart? Yes. Mr. Duncan? Yes. Thank you, motion carried. That concludes my action items. All right, thank you very much. At this time, we are going to move to the Board of Education um, comments. Do we have a um, legislative report? Nothing of value to report uh, at this time. Okay, thank you. The CTC met on January 9th in uh, regular session at 7 p.m. Do we have any old business? Any new business? All right, seeing none, if uh, I may have a motion to adjourn. So move. Second. <laughs> yeah, it's got to be on your game here. <laughs> so, so competitive. It's you may race. call the roll. <laughs> Mr. Duckman? Yes. Mr. Jewell? Yes. Mrs. McIntosh? Yes. Mr. Moore? Yes. Mrs. Lanehart? Yes, thank you. I'm 633. <laughs>